This is an AMD 7900 XTX limited edition from PowerColor. This is gonna be one of the fastest GPUs that you can get. So at 1080p with the same settings, 246 FPS, and you can see this actually beats the 4090. And of course, one of the fastest AIB models having, look, triple eight pin power compared to the reference that only has two. We're gonna see, is this really any better than the 4080? Can it even get close to beating an RTX 4090? I'm gonna test some games that I know are good with AMD. For example, Call of Duty, the Modern Warfare 2. I know AMD typically does good there. And I'm also gonna test some stuff that I know are good with Nvidia. For example, Cyberpunk, Ray Tracing Ultra, Nvidia should definitely crush this guy. So let's see what happens. And remember, this guy here was $10.99. The cheapest 4080 is $11.99 and the 4090, $15.99. So you're talking about at least $100 cheaper than the 4080 and then hundreds of dollars cheaper than the cheapest 4090. Let's see if this guy can keep up and if ray tracing is really gonna be that big of a deal. So the games I'm gonna be testing on the Ryzen 9 7950X. That way it's gonna give Give us the least possibilities of CPU bottlenecking. Remember, you can actually really bottleneck and even at 4K now, it's unbelievable, but these GPUs are so powerful that you're definitely gonna bottleneck with a slower CPU. And by slower, I mean basically anything that isn't some of the highest end, fastest chips you can buy. First, this is a 3090 Ti. This is a Cyberpunk um, 4K. Ray Tracing Ultra, of course, DLSS off and any upscaling. You can see, yeah, roughly it stays around that like 28 frames per second, you know, depending how you, uh, you actually like walk around. It'll go from like 24 to 30, but this is pretty much like max settings at 4K, but still way beneath what we would consider playable. You know, you wanna be getting at least close to 60, but Cyberpunk is a tough, tough game. There's no doubt about that. So that's the 7900 XTX limited edition. Here's Cyberpunk. This is 4K ray tracing ultra. Um, now this is gonna be with FSR off, of course. Hmm, 19 FPS, 20 FPS. This is actually getting worse than the 3090 Ti right here that I uh, that I tested against it. So, I mean, that's a pretty big difference. The 3090 Ti was getting like in the 20s, like 25, 27. This one is getting less. Uh, so that, this is not playable really. Um, you wanna be getting a lot more. Maybe above 40, you could kind of play, but like, of course you want at least 60. That's really the, the goal here. But 19, that's not gonna cut it. So Ray Tracing Ultra at 4K, Mm, not so good on this guy. So the 7900 XTX, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is gonna be on the extreme uh, 4K, got about 124 FPS. Everything turned up um, on max. And of course I turned off any type of uh, you know upscaling. Now the 4090 got about 132. Remember this now is stock settings. I didn't overclock anything. When I did overclock, I got up to 134 FPS and that was with just basically increasing the power. Um, so you can kind of be the 4090 in this, but still pretty impressive, 124. FPS, you can see here the 7900 XTX, you can see the 7950X processor um, upscaling off, and then at 4K, um, 3840 by 2160. That's definitely uh, pretty impressive, you know? And you can see it's mostly, of course, GPU bound. And if you go down to like 1080p or 1440p, of course, the CPU is gonna be more important. But my opinion, for what is basically $500 less, you're getting about the same FPS as a 4090, at least in this game. So that's definitely pretty impressive in this case specifically. Here, we're running at 1440p, the 7900 XTX. Listen to that coil whine. That is some crazy coil wine. You can hear it even over the fans. But yeah, so far, let's see. Let's see, the GPU's staying pretty cool. Only 49C. Frames per second seem pretty high. This is on extreme. We'll see what the average is. Here is the 1440p result. 197 FPS on extreme. This is actually just about the 4090, which got um, 198 FPS. And I'm sure, it, you know, there's a little bit of variation there. So you could basically say it's about the same FPS as a 4090 at 1440p. So very impressive. Let's try 1080p and see what happens. 
So at 1080p with the same settings, 246 FPS, and you can see this actually beats the 4090 now. You can see here 1080p. So, you know, that's, that's pretty impressive, even though you probably wouldn't use a GPU like this to play at 1080p, still impressive what it can do compared to the much more expensive 4090. Of course, no ray tracing here. That's why we have such an advantage as well. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, vip-cdkdeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key click activate and now let's go back to the video remember we're pairing with the fastest gpus available if you're using a 3070 you may be okay with like a 5600x but i even tried a 5600x and it absolutely just got destroyed by these fast gpus at anything even like 4k was struggling and 1440p of course was very very bad 4k some titles showed no difference at all but some were already showing the difference between a fast cpu and slower so at the end of the day what do you do do you buy one of these guys or do you stay with nvidia well first gpu prices are definitely more expensive for both amd and nvidia than they've really ever been the last few years of course the rtx 3000 and rx 6000 we did see prices go up but now i mean it's a little bit of a tough question i mean a 4090 obviously is the fastest gpu overall that you're going to get it's going to beat the fastest one in every single case um, in ray tracing rasterization content creation, 3D work like Blender, things like that, that GPU is pretty much always going to win out. Now, this one, of course, can get close to the 4090 in some cases, but not in every single case. If you put this GPU in your system in a 4090 and you're even playing at 4K, are you really going to notice that big of a difference most of the time? I don't really think so, unless you're playing something very ray tracing heavy. That's really where it's going to come down to, ray tracing. If you can tell the difference yourself on a nice, maybe 4K, HDR monitor, if you really want that visual eye candy and have some pretty decent frame rates, I think that the 4090 and even the 4080 at ray tracing levels that are like ultra and things like that, are going to be probably your best bet. If you're playing at 1440p, this guy can actually probably do some ray tracing too that's going to be playable, um, especially if you turn down a few settings here or there, so it's not terrible. AMD definitely did a lot of progress towards ray tracing, but if you care about that, NVIDIA destroys it. In my opinion, I mean a high-end GPU when you're spending over $1,000. Personally, I would want to use a 4090, maybe a 4080, because if you're paying that much, you want to turn on all of the eye candy and like it or not ray tracing is part of the eye candy a lot of games do it differently some games do it really well other games maybe it's so so but still something you want to experience if you want to be on the cutting edge of technology and amd for that part it's still you know a generation behind nvidia this is like a 3090 ti level type of ray tracing while the 4090 is doing things that are much more advanced how are you going to know if you like ray tracing or not if you're not trying it sort of on the most advanced gpu possible to really form an opinion it's almost like if you drive you know a regular car how do you know how much better a ferrari is without never really experiencing it aside from people telling you what it is so in that case that's where NVIDIA has the advantage. But let's say if the game library that you play more focused on like high FPS, not necessarily ray tracing involved, and that's more like casual and fun, you could definitely spend a lot less money on the 7900 XTX and get basically the same equal performance really without looking at that FPS meter if you keep that ray tracing off. So in that case, definitely very impressive. And we'll see what the availability is like for these. I mean, they didn't sell like all that well the first day of launch that I could see. I mean, there were a lot of XTs left over, but then they also had a lot less than like the 4090. Like my Micro Center store only got 40 XTs and about maybe 20 XTX. And then they got that second shipment where they got this guy in, which was their first AIB model. So I'm not too sure their numbers are going to compete with NVIDIA. But I mean, if you can find even the reference one for like $999, that's really not a bad deal considering you're going to have to spend hundreds more for a 
a 40, 80, or 40, 90. And once again, it comes down to your specific use case. Do you really want ray tracing? Well, go NVIDIA if you want really the ultimate. And in some cases for content creation, you still wanna do NVIDIA GPUs, but in a lot of cases for strictly gaming, even at 4K, something like this for what is now a few hundred dollars cheaper can definitely make sense. It wouldn't make sense at the same price as NVIDIA, however, but it does make sense when it's cheaper. All right, guys, so let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.